What's going on all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William and today I've got something very special for you all. So ordinarily I only cover big news updates and if there were smaller updates I'd kind of group them up with the bigger updates for just a big video of coverage. However this update or teaser as it were is so monumental I had to discuss it with you all right now because this could have huge implications for combat synergy and more in Anthem. So yesterday Anthem's lead producer Ben Irving tweeted this out to Mike Gamble saying that quote, John's working on making the Storm Ultimate UI amazing. At Gamble Mike, you are welcome. Ordinarily, this would have been covered tomorrow in the weekly Anthem Dev Tracker, but it's this image that puts a smile on my face and kind of the reason behind this video. If we take a look at the image, we can obviously see the Storm is using its ultimate ability. The fact alone that we are finally getting to see the first glimpse at the Storm's ultimate is incredible enough without what comes next. Just like one of those countless bad spy movies, we need to enhance the image a bit more. Here we can see the storm engulfed in what appears to be a much larger version of its protective hover bubble and three elemental indicators that can be seen over the storm's head. Initially I thought the storm javelin's ultimate ability element would be indicative of the gear or its seals. It is known that the storm can use other elemental attacks aside from lightning but those elements would be dependent upon the gear type it had on. Given that previously it would stand to reason that the storm's ultimate would either take on the elemental type of the gear or or seals as mentioned before, or it would be limited to an electric based attack at least for launch. However, it appears as though it can be interchanged between three of the four elements in Anthem, going left to right on the screen, ice, electricity, and fire. Missing however seems to be the acid element, which in all fairness makes sense as from what I gather, the element is manufactured. A card above will take you to our element video where we discuss the four elements in Anthem and our theories behind them. It's a theory that was discussed in that video, which makes makes me believe that Acid won't be included in the Storm's possible alternating ultimate element variants. You try saying that five times fast. Acid, as I understand it, can be manufactured, unlike the other elements in Anthem, where the Anthem of Creation may have possibly created them. Listen to this clip from Halleck from E3 2018. Faye said these bastards made some kind of acid, they're using it as a weapon. Melted a couple of supply caravans. As it is or can be manufactured, even by the invasive scars. And given that the storm's affinity for the elements comes from its runes or seals, I doubt a manufactured element could be one of the storm's mystical seals. Perhaps acid is more of a weapon elemental. Well, element. Only time will tell and that's kind of a discussion for another video. Anyways, back to the storm's ultimate. Now, why do I say that it can be interchanged instead of having you choose which element you can use before you activate the ultimate? Well, take a look down here. You can see part of the ultimate bar has already been used up. Given that the super has already been in use, the presence of the three elemental icons that you can possibly switch between, and the color of the aura around the storm matching the color of the primary element, in this case electricity, seems to me demonstrates the possibility of an interchangeable elemental super for the storm. However, interchangeable doesn't mean all at once. I highly doubt that you'll be able to use ice, electricity, and fire in tangent together, but rather, as stated earlier, you will be able to change slash toggle to your desired element while in your ultimate. But why is this so cool? Trust me, I'm not thinking this is cool because I'm more than likely a storm main. It's more along the lines of it's cool because what this could mean in a team and synergy setting. For one, the storm is the only javelin as of right now with an interchangeable elemental super. The ranger has its missile slavo. The colossus has its minigun. And while we don't know what lies ahead for the interceptor as of right now, and while its ultimate ability is undoubtedly cool, I don't see it as having that capability of having the interchangeability like the storm. Having the storm be able to change its ultimate elemental damage on the fly also means more combos for both your team and your environment. For instance, we know ice damage such as the ranger's frost grenade combos well with moderate to high impact sources of damage, such as guns, explosives, and possibly other elemental attacks. It would also benefit from taking advantage of environmental areas riddled with combo ability. We see here from the E3 2018 gameplay trailer what happens when some lowly scars are knee deep in water. When the storm strikes the water with an electrical call down, it combos off the water for increased damage. But the real beauty of this ultimate is that it can potentially do all the above and more for most, if not all, situations. Your team is getting overrun. You have the ability to freeze over the enemies, possibly, allowing for your team to combo off the frozen enemies for added damage. Or you can set them ablaze, or better yet, 
Send them flying with some good old fashioned thunder given what your team needs or what the environment may possibly afford you to use to add on some extra pain. This ultimate may also give the storm some much needed survivability in a solo setting. We know that the storm is the glass cannon of the javelins and by every indication it is also the squishiest of the four javelins. At least this way it has the option for survivability with straight up hopefully nuke worthy pure DPS damage or some sort of crowd control so it can retreat or recover. Either way I cannot thank Ben Irving enough for this fantastic little tidbit on my favorite suit. What do you all think of the storm's ultimate ability? Can you think of any creative uses I didn't mention in the video? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Also if you are new to the channel and like what we are doing here, feel free to subscribe for more Anthem info regularly. And if you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. Last but not least, a special thanks to my patrons for all your generous support. As always, I hope you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.